Welcome back, I love old school music family. Here's a cool fun fact that may surprise some SWV fans. Lead singer Coco Clemens was in a relationship and had a child with a rapper who was very popular in the 90s. He's a member of a legendary rap group. And for a while, they dominated the airwaves with their hits. They even won a Grammy after selling millions of records. Their music is timeless and classic to old school hip hop heads. But before we drop this gem, do us a solid and like, comment, share, subscribe, tap the notification bell so you don't miss a beat on more old school heat like this one. Back to Coco and her 90s rapper ex, who seemed like an unlikely match back in the day. They were a couple and their union produced a child. How they managed to keep this out of the public's eye back when both of them were in two of the hottest groups of the 90s is beyond us. But before we get to the legendary father of her eldest son, let us introduce y'all to their son, who is a very popular rapper with millions of fans. He goes by the name of Lil Tracy, and his parents couldn't be more proud of him. He built his career from the ground up without relying on his famous parents' name. So big ups to Lil Tracy for that. Okay, enough with the suspense. Check out who Coco's son Lil Tracy calls dad. The father of Coco Clemens' eldest son, Lil Tracy, is none other than Mr. Cool Like That himself, Ishmael Butterfly Butler of the 90s rap group Diggable Planets. If you were bobbing your head to rap classics back in the day, you definitely know his group. For those of you who aren't familiar with Diggable Planets, they were one of the main groups to fuse a jazz sound with unique hip hop vocals. And their hit, Rebirth of Slick, Cool Like Dat, sent them into another stratosphere in the 90s. As far as Ishmael and Coco's relationship, Coco admitted that they weren't together for long, but that they were in love. Their son was born in 1997, and here is what Coco revealed about them in a prior interview with Honey Magazine. People would ask us, what do y'all talk about? Because we're really different, says Coco of her ex. A shy laugh gets caught in her voice. I watch TV, he doesn't. I eat fried food and pork, he doesn't. So some things were really weird, but he taught me a lot and he learned some things from me. But I think we were too different for it to really last. Coco smiles as she talks of him. And though she initially claimed she was mad at Ishmael at the time of the interview, it's clear the two are still good friends. He's a good father, she continues, and he was special. We have a special bond, a special relationship. Raising her eyebrows and lightening her tone, she adds, he's a good man. He's going to make somebody a good husband. Ishmael wasn't the only artist who Coco dated. She was also in a relationship with another popular 90s entertainer who was also a member of a popular group. Only this time, he was an R&B cat, not a rapper. Y'all remember the R&B group, Shy? They had everybody singing the lyrics to their 90s love song, And If I Ever Fall In Love Again. Well, in the 90s, Coco dated one of the group members, Garfield Bright, but unfortunately, their romance eventually fizzled. And there you have it, I love old school music fam. Thanks for checking out this video. And if you haven't done so already, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Appreciate y'all. I love old school music, old school news with a new point of view.